You want a way to get clients, to get them coming back, and to have them think of you regularly. What's a way to do that? Well, one way that I like to do that is through automation. And automation is when you set up a certain plan, process that your client's going to go through. So here's an example of the HubSpot website where they offer different branching options. And it's a really useful tool. HubSpot allows you to do a ton of different triggers for the automations. Triggers are things that the client or the end user does. For example, they've filled out the form, so then they get sent email number two. But if they haven't filled out the form, then they will be sent nurture email number one. So let's have a look at this in another platform. And this one is MailChimp. Say that I've got a contact who's signed up to the design co-op and I've created a form for them with their name and surname and their email. And now I want to add a journey point. They call it a journey point. Can add some rules here. We can do if they do this, then do that, or else they do this, then do that. We can do an A-B test by percentage split. They can wait for the trigger, so wait for the end user to take an action, or delay it by a time. So let's say a contact signs up. I want to send them an email. I can create this. And here we go. Here the email pops up. We can carry on adding journey points or adapting them as we go along. So let me show you a third example of inbound marketing. And this is using MailerLite. And again, they're gonna complete a form I've told the workflow what form I want them to do. Then they're going to be sent an email. We can see the email here. So once that email has been sent, and I've asked it to wait seven days because I have an event called Pick My Brain on LinkedIn and Zoom, where I invite people weekly on a Thursday to come and just ask me questions about their business and marketing strategy. I want the subscriber to get the opportunity to know about this event and sign up for it. So that's why I'm asking it to wait seven days. And then I'm sending out another email that is going to give them a different trigger and a different ask. So I hope this gives you a couple of good visual examples of how to create a customer journey, and how to automate your marketing campaign.